3D camera in After Effects is an awesome tool that can increase depth, dimension and awesome movements to your graphics. How do you open up a 3D camera in After Effects? There are three ways in which you can open up a 3D camera. The first one is by clicking down here, go to new and select camera. The second way is by going to layer, new and selecting camera. The third way is by clicking on keyboard shortcuts. Control, Alt, Shift, and C. Your camera settings will open up like this. Don't be confused by everything you see here because I'm going to explain to you everything in the simplest way as possible. When you click on this drop down arrow here, you'll have two options. The first one is one node camera. Essentially means that the camera will be orienting around itself. So it will be capturing everything around it but the camera won't be moving, only will be orienting around itself. The two node camera essentially means that the camera will be orienting around a point of interest. For example, let's say this is our point of interest and this is our graphics right here. This is what our camera will be doing on a two node camera. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Now, why did I show you an example of this camera right here? This is because all the settings you see right here are made to represent an actual real life camera. If you have never touched or operated a camera before, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You can see that we have a name, camera one. We just leave it like that, we won't mess it up. Now, preset has been made with different focal lengths that are represented by millimeters. As you can see right here, we have 15 millimeters that goes up to 200 millimeters. If we choose a 15 millimeter focal length, this is what we call a shorter focal length. It will capture a very wide angle of view. Going up to 200 millimeters, that means your field or angle of view will be narrow and your subject will be much bigger. Blur will be much higher and your subject will be much sharper. Now, uh, 50 millimeters is a level that is close to how our human eyes see. Before you press OK, you'll see that here we have a noble depth of field. Depth of field actually is the blur level that will be put into our camera depending on an area of focus and other areas which are out of focus. So by default, you might find this uh, not checked. Make sure you check this and press OK. Don't worry about the settings that you put in a camera, in a 3D camera, because we can always go back and uh, change the settings. On the previous versions of After Effects, because here we are using the After Effects 2023, you can see that they have given us, uh, they've given us different options here on how to operate our 3D camera. On a previous version, you will actually find a camera icon right here. You can have different views in which we can use to uh, see our our camera all these different views can be changed and help you see the camera from a different perspective so for example if i select this uh, view right here you can see right here i have been given an option that i can either change it to active camera to left and you can see like here we have top we have front and we have right if you scroll down to these views you can actually zoom out or zoom in on the view so if you zoom out you can actually see the camera is right here and this is our subject right here this is what we are capturing so i'll put this back to one view and this view is going to be our active camera because active camera is actually going to be how we actually view the camera from the display or the screen or the that is active camera okay it's like essentially like you're here let's start by the primary controls that we can see up here now you can see that we have been given the orbit uh, settings the pan settings and the dolly settings now this is orbiting this is panning you pan from left to right and this is dollying dollying is different from zooming in because when you zoom in you actually the camera is in, is in a stationary position you actually zoom into the subject by using the digital settings on the camera but dolling in that means the camera moves together with you towards the subject if i choose here orbit around the cursor tool and click and hold you can see right here i can actually orbit uh, around here orbit around scene 2 you can see 
I can orbit around the scene like this orbit around the camera point you can see the pan settings you can see we can pan from left to right you can you can pan camera to the point of view like you see this is my point of view on the camera and then i'll be panning left but you know maintaining my point of view and uh in real life that's actually panning you can pan from left to right but you know in after effects you can actually even you know do this but this is actually not panning this is actually tilting and next we have dolly and here you have you can dolly towards the cursor too so let me say my cursor is right here i can dolly towards the cursor right here and you can see there's a little cross right there that can help us see where we're actually do dollying towards all of these are settings to help you orbit to help you pan and to help you dolly when you select your camera layer right here and click on this drop down arrow you have two options you have the transform options and you have the camera options starting with the transform options click the drop down arrow and you'll see you have different options right here you have point of interest you have position you have orientation and you have rotation that is separated into the x y and z axis because that's how the 3d space works you have the z axis that is your front you have the x axis that is your side and you have the y axis okay that's how the 3d space works you can use this to animate and keyframe this to create different movements apart from the actual digital camera settings of your camera in practice for example if we change the values of the position we can pan the camera from left to right but we can also tilt the camera from top to bottom bottom <laughs> Also, you can see on rotation here, let me say we rotate the Z axis. You can see we can rotate on the Z axis, but also on the Y axis, but also on the X axis. Orientation also works the same as we can orient the camera. For example, if we would have chosen the one node camera, the camera would have actually oriented around itself so actually here what the camera is doing orienting around itself coming down to the camera options here you have different options to choose from you have the zoom this is actually you can zoom in you have the depth of field which we turned on previously like when you double click here on your camera layer you can see we enabled uh, depth of field which means right here you will find it that it's on you have the focus distance the distance to which your subject is sharp and where it's out of focus aperture is actually the opening that is in front of the sensor to allow light to pass through the sensor to be turned into an actual image so and the blur level right here is how much uh, blurry your image is now 100 is the natural blur level okay you can see like if i increase the aperture right here you can see more of my uh, image right here is getting into out of focus and you can see if i change the focal distance i will actually change where the uh, the graphics is sharp and where the graphics is blurry in real life camera um, aperture is actually represented by f-stops if you're using a lower f-stops the the blurry the background will be or the bokeh the higher f-stop more of the image will be clear but in this camera is a bit different coming down here you have the iris shape now the iris shape better left to fast rectangle because the iris shape is actually you're affecting how the out of focus pixels look like the fast rectangle actually renders faster than most of these uh, other shapes right here on the bottom here you have different settings for the iris and below you have the highlight settings the highlight setting are basically to boost the luminosity on the out of focus uh, pixels so it's basically working on more detailing of the out of focus uh, pixelation now another tip i want to share with you guys is when you select this uh, camera layer right here and you come to layer camera 
you'll see like you have different options for uh, linking the focus distance now the first one says link focus distance to point of interest and this is actually what it does the last one says focus distance to layer and that's what it does the one which i really like the most is the one on the middle right here this one says link focus distance to layer this one is what we call auto focus if i take my dolly tool right here and zoom in and dolly in or dolly out the focus will remain on the logo so that's essentially it like it sets out of focus to this camera right here. so now having knowing all these options on the 3d camera let's now create different movements using keyframes uh, on the this artwork we have right here what i'm gonna do is take my dolly and uh, select dolly to camera point right there i'm going to put a stopwatch here on my position and um, select the middle of my logo right here and then I will click hold and zoom in then I will move a bit further on my timeline here and I will dolly I will dolly out okay like right here easy is out and this too easy is in and what i'm gonna do right now is play this and see how this works out as you can see that's a nice nice logo animation right here and we can try to make it a bit fast like right here and here's how it works out we can change here the z rotation take this keyframe right here change the z rotation here and play this you see so there you go guys there's endless possibilities on how to use this 3d camera in after effects go out there and make something awesome